So in this video, I wanna talk about a series that came out back in July of 2017, a, based on a light novel called Gamers. And one of the funny things about this anime is when it first came out, there was this dumb controversy about how the story was presented, that it was silly, unrealistic, and all that kind of stuff. And I wanna talk about an issue that I have with not just like the anime community, like consumers, but also content creators that talk about animes, is the ivory tower. Which, for those that know, you know what I mean by that, but for those that don't know, this concept of you standing on a tower, looking down on everything, and perceiving to see what every character's decision is, and then going, well, they should have done this, they should have done that, they should have done this, because your sight of everything is much more larger. You see everything. While from a character's perspective, it is narrowed down to only what they can see from their two eyes. And so that's why I have this issue of the ivory tower, where fans will look at a show and go, well, this doesn't make any sense. This is unrealistic. But when you actually put yourself in their shoes, it does make sense. And gamers make sense from a sort of a fun comedy otaku romance school setting, because these characters they will come up with the craziest things. They will see things and only see what they see and not understand the full scope of it. And then they start cons coming up with conspiracy theories. I mean, how many reality TV shows out there, and I don't really like to use this as much of a analogy of where people just do really dumb stuff and you're just like, what? Because you see all the other perspectives going on, but then you don't see it that from their perspective, all they see is one thing. Also because a lot of reality TV shows have a lot of dumb people, but what I'm meaning is that when we go through our day-to-day -day lives, we only see what we see. And if we're having a discussion with someone, and whether it's romantic or just friendship-based, we're having that back and forth. But you go to other situations, and there might be miscommunication, things going on, and you don't see everything. And that's what I like about gamers, is that these characters just absolutely lose their marbles over it. Because they're seeing things from their perspective that, oh, this guy, he's now suddenly flirting with this other girl while I'm off, you know, trying to do something else. And they don't understand that actually that other guy is trying to console the other girl because she's in love with another guy. And so she's coming up with this conspiracy that they're actually really a couple and that he's actually getting played. And so she then, she then consoles him, saying, oh, you know, I'm there for you, blah, blah, blah. They're, they're just off on their own. She's using you. And then they think that they're a couple because they're off consult. Well, she's off consult. And it's a, a series of misunderstandings, which is what the anime got the nickname of. And that's what I find so funny about the series is that it is actually very realistic of like a high school drama of where kids just lose their absolute marbles because they see something and they think, maybe I should just sit down and ask them something. But at the same time, you don't know if that person's going to lie. I mean, people do lie. It's It sucks to say, but people do lie. And teenagers are not out of the realms of possibility. Now you can say, oh, but these characters are so nice and lovey-dovey. You don't know from the other person's perspective. That's where mistrust comes in place. And yeah, when they all sit down and they all communicate everything, everything makes sense and then it all smooths out. But that's what I love about the series. It's just silly. It's just so much fun. <clears throat> and from a Otaku perspective, it adds a lot more to that as well. It's The thing is, is I'm a massive sucker for romances. I really, really, really love romances and I love these kind of styles. It's just also back in 2017, you got a lot of these types of series and then they never got sequels at all, which is what also irritates the living hell out of me. And I did a little bit of research into it because I had to do another video and my last recording actually ended up not working. So when I ended up doing some research into the chances of a season two, I kind of found out that apparently the anime com apparently to the uh, the light novel fans completely butched or butched the source material so a lot of them are saying oh you should go read the light novels but there is no english legal release either which kind of really sucks and if there was it'd be great because there's 12 volumes of the series and it ended a couple of years back so it's one of those where i actually wouldn't mind actually reading it because it's only 12 volumes so i'd be like okay all i gotta do is get 12 volumes read it and then i'm done i would love to read something like that i mean unless there's a fan translation maybe i'd consider it because then i could just read each volume read all 12 do a review on each of the volumes get them out and that's it i don't have to worry about waiting for the next volume to come out in a couple of years say like something like overlord or something Completely two different types of series, but from a perspective of light novel releases, you get what I mean. So I wouldn't mind that. 
So it is a completed story, so there's that potential of where could the story go. It doesn't seem like it deviates away from the source material, more so just takes a lot of context out, a lot of character building, a lot of back and forth relationship type of stuff. So I feel like there could be room for a season two, but I feel like it'd be very, very, very unlikely it's more of a source material seller, which is why I would love to be able to have more English legal releases of these kinds of series, because if they're, if they're used as a source material seller, it'd be nice to just have access to them from a Western's perspective. But if there was a season two, just say hypothetically, I think it would probably delve into this whole concept of the main protagonist kind of understanding his feelings towards the blonde, and then also maybe finding out that the other girl, Bluey, blue hair, as I like to call her, Bluey, and realizing she actually has feelings, and then maybe there could be some breakup between him and the blonde girl, and then him kind of being like, okay, well, I might go out with her, and then maybe at the end, there's a decision where he has to pick one or the other. I, I could definitely see the blonde ending up breaking up with him because she'd end up feeling like she's failing as a girlfriend and she feels the pressure too much and was like, you know, you're too good for me kind of attitude because she just seems to be head over heels, even though, to be honest, she could probably do way better. But at the same time, she enjoys the company that she spends with him. And that's the main thing. And that's what I like about it. It actually shows genuine love and companionship and interactions between each other and the back and forth is just really interesting as well it's it's not like a it isn't a harem but the other thing though too is yeah you've got two girls in love with the same guy but then you've also got the other couple as well and so one of the things that i do like about the series is it's not just tunnel vision on one romance it's actually got other stuff going on the side characters aren't just like shadows or decorations in the story they actually have their own meaning and backstory and building on everything and that's another thing that i do like about gamers is that it does have other characters that have other developments going on it's just not hyper-focused, because one of the downsides is when a story becomes super hyper-focused, you almost get kind of like a tunnel vision, and it gets a little bit tedious and a little bit, I don't know, it wears me down a little bit. It's not a bad thing in, like, the worst thing since sliced bread, but it can be a little bit taxing over time if you've got, like, six volumes, and it's just tunnel visioned on two characters or even three characters in a sort of a love situation, and every other character on the side is just, like, blank it's just like shadows they just don't have any meaning or impact on the overarching story it can feel a little bit empty and hollow which is why i like gamers because you do feel like there are other characters that have a meaning and an impact on the overarching story as much as the main protagonist is a little bit wishy-washy and a bit you know all over the place i think the only reason why people complain about that is because i think they realize that that character is probably a little bit of themselves in realizing that hey when you're a team back then you get a little bit awkward when you're around girls i myself was like that i can admit that i'm much older now and as a stud i'm joking yeah i'm, I'm a lot more able to communicate with the opposite gender but Back when I was younger, yeah, I'd, I'd, I would be petrified if some, like, hot chick started randomly talking to me and wanted to befriend me. I'd, yeah, I'd stutter. And I did. <laughs> Fun stories. I've got plenty. I still remember them all. So if you ever want story time, maybe hit me up in the comments and I might consider adding them to some of these videos. But that's the thing. This character is realistic. He's weird. He's a little bit timid. But as time goes on, he kind of comes out of his shell and he's able to communicate what he loves. And having Tendo, Blondie also be into the same thing it allows them to complement each other really well and that's what i like about the romance it just is nice but as far as the season two goes i don't ever see that happening sadly and i know it sucks but it is what it is but i'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below what did you think of gamers any and all thoughts are definitely welcome as long as they keep them civil again love to know them if you like this video hit the like subscribe and i'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.